So you wanna to move to Edmonton, Alberta? I'm gonna give you seven steps to take to make your move go super smooth and stress-free right after this. Hello, my name is Patrick Fields, your Edmonton real estate guy. I'm licensed with Remax Select. And if you want to be an educated buyer or seller wherever you live, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. I post videos every week on home buying and selling tips and fun things to do here in Edmonton. You can always check out listings of homes for sale on my website at edmontonalbertahome.ca. I've been so busy helping clients from across Canada buy homes in Edmonton lately. It has been amazing. So I thought I would share how we've been doing it. Oh, and if you like the information that I cover here, please give it a thumbs up. Step number one, contact me. Yes, this seems like an easy one, but call, text, or email me. My information is in the notes below. We'll then set up a time to have a virtual face-to-face -face call on Skype or Zoom, FaceTime, or maybe a Google Hangout. This gives us a chance to get to know each other, build a relationship, and figure out the logistics and timelines for your home purchase. We'll cover some basic information that really helps us through the entire process. Step number two, we figure out your home goals. Now this can really take on several twists. We discuss what's important inside the home for you and your family, like if being close to work is important or if schools are important for kids. I made a video about Edmonton schools. I'll put a link to it right up there and down in the notes below. We cover different scenarios and I ask a lot of questions to find out what your true motivators are. New home, old home, close to downtown or being out in the burbs. Is shopping, transit important? There's so many factors that go into this. Edmonton is a very big city. The Edmonton CMA, or Census Metropolitan Area, is the largest in Canada by area at over 9,400 square kilometers. We have a population of 1,461,000 in the surrounding areas, making us the sixth largest city in Canada by population. So by taking some time to figure out what's really important to you, we can save you a lot of driving time in the future. Step number three, I set up a custom home search for you and get your own search portal on our Edmonton Real Estate Board website. This really narrows down on any specific criteria you might have and only sends you homes that match that criteria. And that's why step number two is so important. Focusing on what you really want and need will save so much time when looking at homes in the future and that ultimately don't suit you. We can really focus in on certain areas of the city. Our real estate board has broken down our city into 35 zones and we have about 250 communities now. So it helps to have an agent that really knows the city very well. Within your home search website, we can make notes on listings, mark ones as favorites and reject any homes that you don't like. I can see all your activity and respond easily if you have any questions about certain homes. This really helps us keep track of homes that you want to view and keeps us both very organized. I'll also tell you my secret to finding out how safe the area you want to live really is. The last thing you want to do is buy a home in an area that might have some crime. My clients have been so helpful for sharing this tip. Step number four, we go look at homes. So now we figure out if you're able to be here in person to look at homes or just like the wonderful couple I helped from Toronto who have yet to set foot in their new home. We did everything virtually. I sent them video tours of homes that they liked. I told them pros and cons of homes that they had picked out based on our initial conversations of what they told me they were looking for and of the areas. We did all our offer paperwork through an online signature program that I use that tracks email and IP addresses. And I sent them videos from our home inspection. Technology now is so amazing. They were absolutely thrilled with everything. If you can physically be here, it's even better. Like the couple I just helped that drove here from Vancouver. We found them an amazing home in just four days. 
By having discussions upfront about your wants and needs, we can zero in on the best homes that suit you. The market is really busy now, and you don't want to miss out on the perfect home by looking at other homes in areas that don't suit you, or homes that don't suit your lifestyle. Often, where you might think you want to live and in what kind of home is usually not what most buyers end up buying. Because I'm constantly asking questions, I really want to find out what's most important for you. It's kind of funny, a few years ago, I had some really nice clients that said they wanted a two-story home. Well, after looking at a few homes and several discussions, they told me of how they liked to entertain and soon they wanted to retire. I showed them a big bungalow and smiles lit up their faces and they said, now we really like this type of home. It was pretty cute. Step number five. Once we find the home you like, we get your mortgage approved. Unless, of course, you're paying cash. Now, it's always recommended that you have your mortgage approved before you start looking at homes. There's so much paperwork involved when buying a home, you don't want to be scrambling, trying to find T4s, bank statements, letters of employment, government notice of assessments, and all the other paperwork that a lender needs. It's recommended that you have a local lender that understands the market and can act quickly if you need them. But my clients are free to choose whoever they want to work with. I do want to make sure that you're getting the lowest interest rate currently available though. I want to save you as much money as I can along the way. Some sellers like to see a buyer's pre-approval letter too when making an offer. So you can actually lose out on an offer of a great home if you don't have that mortgage pre-approval. So make sure it's in place and if you'd like a great lender here, just message me. I'm happy to help you with that as well. Once the mortgage is approved, we move on to step number six, which is the home inspection. I did a video that talks about the home inspection process and everything that it covers. It is quite helpful, I've been told. I'll put a link to it right up there and down in the notes below. Now, if we find issues in the home inspection, you have three options. You can accept it as is, you can walk away and get your deposit back, or we can renegotiate the price based on the severity of the issues. Sometimes you have to provide quotes from professionals, and I always assist with that. And finally, step number seven. Once we're satisfied with everything, we remove our conditions in the offer, and I guide you through the rest of the entire process. I give you a list of the best real estate lawyers that I found, give you information on setting up your utilities, provide moving checklists, and everything else you need to get settled into your new home, whether you're moving across the city or across the country. I really try to make it as easy as possible for you. Buying a home is very emotional and stressful enough. My goal is to make it a fun and exciting, stress-free process for you. So there you have the seven steps to take to buy a home seamlessly here in Edmonton. I'm always available to talk no matter when you're thinking of moving here. Last week I spoke to a lady that wants to move here in a year and rent first, so I emailed her a list of great rental companies. I'm here to help however I can. If you have questions or you'd like to discuss buying a home of your own, just give me a call or fire me a text message. My cell number is below. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful videos. Leave me a comment and hit like if you enjoyed this one. Hey, and check out these other videos I made. One is on the costs associated with buying a home, and the other one discusses the pros and cons in new homes versus older homes. Or there's lots of other great videos on my channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.